Hey everyone, so it's been quite a while since I made a video, and today I decided to just dust out my camera and bring it out and just um, make a new video since I haven't done it in quite a while. So today I'm going to be doing a, um, a video on my sunglass collection and my jewelry collection, and just, you know, show you guys what I like to wear on a daily basis, things that I do, and I hope you guys have been doing well. It's been quite a while. It's been like, what? It's just been a really long time since I've made a video. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to start off with my sunglasses. So these sunglasses, I get all of my sunglasses in the same place, mostly. Um, these are really dusty because I don't wear my sunglasses very much. These are my Armani sunglasses, and these are just like a brown tone sunglasses, and it's kind of spit on, sit on me like that. These are my like, was, these are like one of my favorite pairs. I wear these a lot, and you know they just look like that. And yeah. And they just look like that, because I love wearing sunglasses. I haven't been wearing them that much this year, but oh well, what can you do? Um, oh, that didn't sound too good. This is another pair of my sunglasses. These are another ones of Armani. These are Armani Prive, though. Um, they're, they're again, they're the shield style, and I really like them. They have this metal plate on the side. You guys can see that. And these ones, I don't wear these ones that much because they are kind of big, and I don't really like the way they fit, but those are those ones, those are Armani too. And these ones, you guys will, most of you will recognize these, these are the Gaga glasses. I got these actually at, at a Halloween store this last year, and I actually, they would normally had a thing that said Lady Gaga right here, but I reached, touched them up. I added a texture to them, and now they're just black, and they have like a weird kind of crackle texture to them. And these ones I'll wear around sometimes. They just look like that. Everybody should really know what they look like. I mean, come on, they're Gaga, so everybody mostly knows who she is. These ones I got... Wow. Dusty. These ones I got for graduation last year. And these are my Bolle sunglasses. These are more like a sporty kind if I'm like gonna go to do something where I need to be more sporty. And they kind of have like a little bit of an edginess to it. But my aunt knows that I love sunglasses, so she bought me sunglasses for graduation. And these ones just look like that. And the brand is Bolle. Bolle? Yeah, something like that. It says on the inside. I doubt you guys can see that. A little symbol on the side. And those are my bowl lace sunglasses. And these last ones are... I got these from my dad. These are Dolce & Gabbana. I don't wear these ones because I don't like the way they look. But those are the Dolce & Gabbana ones, and they just look like that. To me, they're like very men in black, very kind of high fashion style. You can see there's like a separated gap between them. So... I don't know, they're kind of weird, and they have like this weird texture on the side. But yeah, those are the Dolce & Gabbana glasses. And now, since I'm all done with my sunglasses, those are all my sunglasses. And now I'm going to move on to my jewelry. And let's just start off, I'm going to say this is my, my all-time favorite piece of jewelry. This is just my peace sign necklace. Let me take it off so you guys can see it up close. This is it. It's just my peace sign necklace that I wear almost every day. And it's just like that. It has rhinestones all over it, as you can see. And I got this at the fair that comes here every year. And I paid like 20 bucks for it, but it is still in really good condition. I don't know what kind of silver they use on this, but it's really good. It's, it hasn't tarnished. It hasn't changed. It hasn't turned like that orange color that you get with some cheap necklaces. And the only problem that I've had with the peace sign is I dropped it once, and one of the rhinestones chipped in half, but I've been wanting to see if I can go and get that fixed, because it's really bugging me, since it is my favorite piece of jewelry. I have that way up, way too high. I'll just take it off, and I'll fix it later. But I'm going to move on to the rest of my jewelry, and this is my jewelry box. I mean, hello. Tell me that this isn't, like, totally me. One of my friends made this for me, and they sent it to me. And with it, they sent me a necklace that I had been wanting for a really long time, so I was happy that they did that. And it's got my initials, 
and it's got these pearl like flowers and then these pearls on the side and then this like rhinestone flower thing right here and this houndstooth print ribbon all the way around it and it's a very textured box I don't know if you can see the texture of the box at all no, that's that. And it's got like, this big black and white flower bow. And since my favorite color, and Dusty, is black, they got me a black jewelry box. So I'm going to get started with this. Right there. First, I'm going to start off with my fake necklace. This is from Hot Topic. So you guys can see that. Um, yeah, that's my fake necklace. I don't really wear this this much, that much, because it is such a big clunky chunky necklace and I don't have any an outfit to really wear with it and this is from the Rock Rebel collection from Hot Topic and I don't yeah I don't wear this like ever I've only worn it like once but you could find it at Hot Topic well you could I don't know if you still can but this is the one that my friend sent me I had said that I wanted it for so long because I've been I've been called fake before but now my little cousin says I'm fake for calling myself fake so it works both ways I guess the next necklace that I have is from Hot Topic also, and it is this very big, chunky, black spiked necklace, and this I don't wear either. <laughs> I have all these necklaces and I don't wear them, but that just wraps around like that, and th it makes a lot of noise, like if, when you walk around, it makes like that clinky noise. But yeah, this was from Hot Topic too, and I don't really wear this because it's just so big. My cat's staring at something and it's worrying me. I'm afraid he's going to attack something. But I don't wear that one. That was from Hot Topic. And then my next piece of jewelry is another necklace. This I have two things on this one because I don't want to get I don't want it to get lost. The first one is hello. Flip around for me. Okay, anyway. The first one is the Born This Way necklace. This is from Hot Topic. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and the second one is this pendant that one of my friends got me for graduation and it has Jesus and on the back it has the Vida and the Guadalupe on it. And my friend got this for graduation and I don't wear it this much be that much because I don't have a chain that goes with it and I don't I'm not really a big fan of gold, but I really love the pendant itself. So hopefully one of these days I'll find a I'll find a um a chain that goes within, I'll be able to wear it more often. My next one is this necklace that I got from Rue 21. And it just looks like that. And it's got this band of rhinestones on it, and I just love it because I liked it because I love rhinestones. I love things that sparkle. And it's kind of got like this chunky chain. I really don't wear this because <laughs> I don't wear any of my jewelry. And, um,. I don't know I don't wear this. Maybe it's just because it's kind of loose on my wrist because I have skinny wrists. Like, hello. Toothpick right there. And, um, yeah. That's another bracelet that I have. Um, another bracelet that I have. Oh, I have another necklace here. And this one is from Route 21 also. Route 21. And it's just this black necklace and it has rhinestones on it. Do I have it on the right side? Yes, I do. And it just looks like this. And it's a double necklace, so it's this one with the rhinestones, and then it's just a plain black one underneath. And then I'll wear this one like if I'm like going out more fancy, and I don't want to wear my my peace line, and I just want to be a little bit more dressy, but still have a little bit of flash to me. So I'll wear that one. That one's from Rue 21. I don't think they sell it anymore. My next one is this bracelet. I got this one from the fair also. And I don't really wear this one because I don't, I don't know. But this is just one of those bracelets that has like all like the saints and stuff on it. And it has like Jesus. Jesus. And it's just one of those. I don't know why I don't wear this, but I just something I'm not into wearing. And I have another one like that. This one I got for Christmas. This one has mostly saints on it. It has like all the saints of it on it. Hopefully you guys can see that. And this one is like all metal and it's like like, do you hear that? That pinches my skin so bad when I try it on. Because my it's it's small, but it's too small for my wrist. And next I have this ring. And a lot of the people in my family have this ring. And it has it has one of the V10s on it. And I don't remember which one it is. Um, 
I don't remember. But everybody, almost every, everybody in my family has this ring. I don't really wear it that much because it is kind of big for my finger. Normally, I would have to wear it on my thumb. I don't know. It just kind of looks funny. Okay. So once again, that's my jewelry box. It's got my initials on it. Tell me you love it. It's amazing. So, yeah. And then I have this bracelet right here. It's like a peace sign. I got this one like a festival. I just had different vendors. And they have like hemp cord wrapped around it and just like this big chunky bla um, brown piece of leather on it. And the little cord that you tighten it with. I don't really wear this one. I don't know. Some of my favorite pieces of jewelry I don't wear anymore. So if I'm weird, then you can call me weird for doing that. And this one is a, br a ring that I, I didn't make it, but I enhanced it. It was this ring, and it's just this black and white cross ring, and then I added, if you can see them, I added the rhinestones on it, and I added these big spikes on the side. So again, that's a very kind of Gaga-esque ring, and I would used to wear this a lot, but I don't wear it anymore because it's so chunky. Then I have some more rings in here. Like this one, I don't know, obviously it doesn't go on that finger, but this one too, I would, oh shit. I got this one, my, one of my cousins bought it for me. And it's just this ring, it has a cross on it. It's like a titanium band. And then I have more rings, I only wear silver, I don't know why. But I have this one. This one has a story to it, but I'm not going to tell you right now because it's none of your business. And this is silver. It has like a tribal pattern on it. Then I have this one also. This one too is just a silver band, but this one says something on it. And this one says, Love, Dream, and Believe. And my aunt got this for me from Avon. And then I just have this one, it's kind of boring, it's just this silver band that I used to wear all the time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is all my jewelry. I have a lot of jewelry and I don't wear a lot of it. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, allergy season. But anyway, yeah, that is all my jewelry. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what kind of jewelry you guys are into. If you know any styles of jewelry that I should try out. Anything that you guys would like to see me try out. Just, you know, give me ideas. I really want to get back into making videos. And hopefully you guys like this. Like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, yeah, just let me know what's out there. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.